Interesting facts about famous people. Women in Westerns, Part 2. It's not easy to find Western movies with a strong female lead, or strong women at all. Women are everywhere in Westerns, in just story. not usually in the key roles. Frontier women had a hard life. They had to cook, shoot, sew, mend, build, handle livestock, care for the kids, and deal with the same hardships men did. They all deserve our respect and gratitude. Some Westerns that do female characters justice. Here's my list of the best ladies in Western movies and TV genres, in no particular order. Let's see, there may be a part three. Take a look at my channel for the first video on women in Westerns. Joan Crawford, Johnny Guitar, 1954. After helping a hurt gang member, Vienna, Joan Crawford, a strong-willed saloon owner, is wrongly suspected of murder and bank robbery by a mob. Joan Crawford plays the lead and she's awesome. Just like her character, Crawford doesn't waste a moment, intense and constantly simmering with intensity. Robin Wicket, Deadwood Western television series, 2004 to 2006 and 2019 movie. Wicket's breakthrough role as Frontiers woman, Martha Jane, Calamity Jane, Canary, 1852 to 1903, set in the 1870s, depicted life in the Dakota Territory of the time, a territory of the United States. Wigert's role as the cantankerous, unkept and foul-mouthed drunkard received critical acclaim. Nominated for a Primetime Emmy Award for Outstanding Supporting Actress in a Drama Series for this role. Rosamund Pike, Hostiles, 2017. 1892, an army captain reluctantly agrees to transport a Cheyenne chief and his family through dangerous territory. Rosalie Quaid, Rosamund Pike, is a true survivor. Pike brings it on all levels. Watching her endure horrific incidents, you feel every bit of her pain in her performance. This movie is difficult to watch for many reasons, but you must see it. Merritt Weather, Godless, 2017. In the 1880s American West, murderous outlaw gang leader Frank Griffin. Hunts for ex-protege Roy Good. Frank's chase leads him to La Belle, New Mexico, a town inhabited after a mining disaster almost entirely by women. Weber's standout performance as the tough tomboy Maggie, getting shit done throughout the story, but also has a soft, subtle, strange storyline. Merritt Weber earned an Emmy Award for playing the character Zoe on the Showtime series Nurse Jackie. Growing up in downtown New York, acting since she was very young. Natalie Portman, Jane Got a Gun, 2015. A woman asks her ex-lover for help in order to save her outlaw husband from a gang out to kill him. Natalie Portman is outstanding in her portrayal of Jane Hammond, equally capable and vulnerable. She delivers moments of raw emotion that you will be dragged through all of her challenges. I was extremely impressed with Portman. She has picked some terrible roles in the past. However, she proves she is not just a pretty face. She has honed her craft to be an excellent actor. Tandy Way Newton, Westworld. At the intersection of the near future and the reimagined past, it is a world in which every human desire is indulged without any consequences. Dolores is a strong female character. Newton's performance as Maeve steals the show. So rich and layered, it is so much more compelling and also more relatable. Caroline Jones, last train from Gun Hill, 1959. A marshal tries to bring the son of an old friend, an autocratic cattle baron, to justice for the role in the rape of the murder of the Marshall's Native American wife. If you loved Caroline Jones as Morticia Adams, you'll absolutely love Jones as Linda. She's no delicate flower, although Jones still emits femininity, smart, fearless, and important to the story. The movie is wonderful. You definitely should see it.
Annette Benning, Open Range, 2003. A former gunslinger is forced to take up arms again when he and his cattle crew are threatened by a corrupt lawman. Benning's performance as Sue Barlow feels so real and authentic. She's not just an ass kicker, but she embodies a quiet strength and intelligence that a woman on the frontier would need to survive. A perfect match for the role. Laura San Giacomo, Quigley Down Under, 1990. Matt Quigley, a sharpshooter, is hired from the US by an English rancher paying a high price. When Quigley arrives in Australia, all is not as expected. Laura San Giacomo went to Morris Knowles High School in Denville, where she got the acting bug and had the lead in several school plays. Laura got a fine arts degree specializing in acting at Carnegie Mellon School of Drama, Pittsburgh. After graduating, she moved to New York. For most of her performance as Crazy Cora has varying levels of comedy, but that's the character. A mask to hide her pain, which eventually she reveals. Paula Malcolmson, Deadwood, 2004 to 2006, 2019 movie. A series set in the late 1800s, revolving around the characters of Deadwood, South Dakota a town of ingrained crime and corruption. Starring as Swearinger's favorite whore, immediately you see that intense spirit. For three seasons, up to the final season of the movie, Malcolmson takes Trixie on an evolutionary journey from low life to a strong leader, never compromising her charm. Angelica Houston, Buffalo Girls, 1995. Buffalo Girls celebrate the wild, untamed escapades of tough-talking calamity Jane Canary. Angelica Houston and her cohorts. It's the end of the Wild West. Jane is searching for her long lost daughter and the West she once knew. Houston does a great job with this take on Calamity Jane, also a colorful character. Brave, awkward, and funny. Hilary Swank, The Homesman, 2014. Three women, driven mad by pioneer life, are transported across the country in covered wagons by the independent-minded and pious Mary B. Cuddy, Hilary Swank. She employs low-life drifter George Briggs, Tommy Lee Jones, to help her. A hard western to watch. Swank does a great job. Mary B. Cuddy can be off-putting in her determination and stubbornness, but she has an undercurrent of rising fear, panic and depression that draws you in. Not an easily relatable character, or one you aspire to be, but it's a very good performance. Kelly Riley, Yellowstone, 2018 to present. A family of ranchers in Montana faces off against those encroaching on their land. She may be cruel, and at some times blunt. Beth Dutton is important to the story of Yellowstone. She's definitely a strong Western woman, Excelling at doing and saying things that shock, without abandoning her semi-intoxicated, deadpan expression. Kirsten Dunst, The Power of the Dog, 2021. Rancher Phil Burbank inspires fear and awe in those near him. His brother brings a new wife and her son home. Burbank, after tormenting them, finds himself facing the possibility of love. A hard film to watch. You must for Dunstan's compelling performance. Her strength of character, not at first obvious. Her character is driven into alcoholism, needing help. Her determination in creating a better life for her son makes her pain so traumatic to watch. Faith Hill, 1883, 2021. 1883 follows the Dutton family as they embark on their journey west. Hill's performance isn't at all flashy, not melodramatic. We don't question if this woman could, would, or should do the things her character does, but we get a wholly believable pioneer woman who has adapted to be as tough and capable as needs to be to survive and thrive. After working hard, she won't give up. She's also warm, likeable, and empathetic. Hill makes Margaret Dutton the kind of woman you'd want to be with on the trail to Oregon. Thank you for your time today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think in the comments. I appreciate likes, shares and subscribers. 
they help me a lot. Bye for now.